We recognize Veterans Day on this special day to remember the sacrifices of all of our servicemen and women who have protected our freedom and our ability to have public schools like this. Veterans Day is officially this Sunday, November 11th. And it was at this time, 94 years ago today, or on the 11th, that the World War came to an end. And that's a time that we traditionally mark as the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. This is when we especially remember all those veterans. America has been the land of the free and the home of the brave. And certainly our state, Wisconsin, is. You see, in World War I, our state sent more than 122,000 of its finest into battle. In World War II, we sent 332,000 of Wisconsin men that served. 132,000 went to Korea. 164,500 fought in Vietnam. Thousands went to Lebanon, Panama, Somalia, and to the Gulf. And 33,904 brave men and women served in the past 10 years in Afghanistan and Iraq. 123 of them died in those wars. Today, on Veterans Day itself, November 11th, which is going to be Sunday, we salute those service members who have given of themselves to ensure our freedom and stand up for the ideal of democracy throughout the world. In late 1942, it went from the dry Mojave Desert right straight into the swamps of Louisiana, getting ready for his job, and his job was shooting down planes with artillery or very big guns for all of you kids. In 1943, he was shipped out to England as part of a battalion of the 124th Anti-Aircraft Group. His primary job in England was to shoot down enemy V-1 buzz bomb rockets and then later on try to figure out how to shoot down the big V-2 rockets that were coming in on London and the area around London in England. It was during this time that Byrne was wounded by a rocket bomb blast that took away his hearing in one ear and damaged the other. He was awarded the Purple Heart for that. That was not enough to keep Byrne from uh, coming back home though. He still had a job to do. And he went from England across the English Channel, landing in France, and then later on went in through the countries of Belgium, Luxembourg, and Germany. During that time, he was awarded four battle stars, one of which was in the famous Battle of the Bulge, in which his unit's anti-aircraft guns weren't used as anti-aircraft guns, but were used as field artillery. I'm very happy to be here to participate along with the color guards in this and Veterans Day honor to all veterans, both women and those that have this East in the past. So I'm hoping that the next generation which we have right here in front of us will see the end of all wars and peace and friendship all over the world which everybody would uh, welcome I'm sure. Yeah.